What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sang, and today we're going to be talking about the news that you've probably been hearing all morning about Brittany Griner. She has been allowed to come back home to the United States of America and trade for the merchant of death. Yes, you heard that correctly. Biden was like, I guess he tried to get both. I guess he tried to get her and Paul, and Russia was like, nah, that ain't happening. So, he was like, they was like, look, man, we'll give you Britney if you give us the merchant of death. And for some reason, Biden thought that was a good idea, and he, <laughs> he approved it. He approved it. So, let's get into the story real quick, and then I'll full on give you my thoughts of everything. But... This is from the New York Times. And as you see, live updates, Brittany Griner's flying home after the prisoner swap with Russia. And she should be back here within like 24 hours, according to all the news outlets and Biden and his team. Brittany Griner, the American basketball star imprisoned in Russia, was released in an exchange for the convicted Russian arms dealer, Victor Bout. President Biden announced on Thursday morning. The trade ended 10 months of captivity for Ms. Griner, whose conviction on drug smuggling charges became an international cause entangled in Russia's deteriorating relations with the United States since Moscow's invasion of U Ukraine. Speaking from the White House with Ms. Griner's wife, Cheryl, by his side, Mr. Biden said they had spoken with Ms. Griner and that she would be back in the United States within 24 hours. All right, and here's all the key points that they want you to know. Russian officials refused to free another jailed American, Paul Whelan, which we're going to get into uh, a statement his brother put out uh, after we do all this. Despite ceaseless efforts by U.S. diplomats to include him in an exchange, Secretary of State Anthony J. Blinken said, while we celebrate Britney's release, Paul Whelan and his family continues to suffer needlessly. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Why wasn't he included? I just... The trade freed Victor Bout one of the most notorious arm dealers of modern times who earned the nickname Merchant of Death as he evaded capture for years. He was convicted in 2011 by a New York jury on four counts that included conspiring to kill Americans and he was sentenced to 25 years. So by him being released, he basically did half his sentence and now he gets to go back home to Russia for Brittany Griner. I want y'all to let that sink in. The merchant of death gets to be free just because y'all wanted Brittany Griner home so bad. <laughs> it is the goofiest trade. It is the goofiest trade. I, I can't even lie to you. It is the goofiest trade. The swap may have been an effort by President Vladimir Putin government to divert attention from Russia's flailing war effort in Ukraine. In recent days, Ukrainian forces have struck military bases inside Russian territory with long-range drones, demonstrating their intent to bring the conflict closer to Moscow. On Wednesday, Mr. Putin acknowledged in a televised speech that Russians should expect a protracted war. Now, with that being said, Russia's like, oh, y'all should be expecting a war. If that is the case, why would we do that? We're giving them the guys that, that's going to help. He's the merchant of death. He's one of the most dangerous arm dealers. He probably on his way back home right now to Russia. As soon as he get there, they're going to get him some vodka, some girls, some cigars, and they're going to be like, my brother, tomorrow, tomorrow, we get back to business. Tonight, we celebrate. And they're going to give him a big feast, and then they're going to get right back to, uh, to where he left off at. Getting a whole bunch of, uh, <laughs> whole bunch of weapons and stuff, and Russia going to pop off on Ukraine. If that's the case... That's why they was like, oh, we'll do the deal. Because what are we getting? We're getting a WNBA player back. That's, she ain't about to do In that case, you could have just went for Paul. Paul is still over there. He been over there for like, what, four or five years now? She been over there a couple months. And we really agreed to this trade to give them the most dangerous dude, one of the most dangerous dudes in the world. And we know they popping off on the war and we giving all this money to Ukraine, which we shouldn't be. I don't think we should have been a part of that, period. We giving all this money to them. And, and, and on top of that, now we just gave one of the most dangerous dudes back to Russia. And Russia just said, you should expect a war. Where's the common thinking on that? That don't even make sense. None of that makes sense. None of it. <laughs> you want to talk about Biden? Biden virtue signaled for more votes. That's all this is. He... Once it's time to run for president again, 
he gonna remind y'all of this. He, oh, Britney about to be used as a pawn for his presidential campaign. When she come back home, she gonna make so much money. She gonna have interview after interview. Uh, they probably gonna give her a book deal so she can talk about her 10 months over there. They might give her a little Lifetime movie or something. She about to make so much bank off of this. And he gonna use her for his campaign when he runs again. I guarantee you. I guarantee you it's gonna happen. I, don't be shocked if that happens. Come back to this video and be like, oh yeah, Sang was right. Sang was right about that. Let's see what Paul's own family has to say about all of this. So let's get into that real quick. So it says the brother, a 52-year-old U.S. Marine veteran, Paul Whelan, who is still in prison in Russia, praised the Biden administration for its successful efforts to free Brittany Griner, but called his brother's continued detention a catastrophe in a statement issued after the WNBA star's release on Thursday. I am so glad that Brittany Griner's on her way home. As the family member of a Russian hostage, I can literally only imagine the joy she will have being reunited with her loved ones and in time for the holidays. Noting the prisoner exchange that took place in the United Arab Emirates to secure Griner's release, which followed months of negotiations between the US and Russia, he added, the Biden administration made the right decision to bring Miss Griner home and to make the deal that was possible rather than waiting for one that wasn't going to happen. Bruh, I gotta get you a if you my brother and you putting that statement out, talking about, yeah, they made the right decision to just go for her instead of trying to get her and my brother right now together. Knowing who Russia got in exchange. As soon as I get out, as soon as I get out, I promise you, as soon as I see him, he be like, bro, I miss you. I walk up and just haul off right on him and he on the ground. I be like, sorry, bro, that's pent up. I had to get that out. Now, come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. That's literally what it would be. That's literally what that would be. Because that's crazy. You can't tell me that's not crazy. All right, Paul Whelan has been imprisoned in Russia for the last four years since his arrest and conviction on espionage charges that the U.S. has called false. He has remained in custody as other imprisoned Americans have secured their freedom, including Trevor Reed, who was released from Russia in April. The Whelan family was not notified in advance when that happened, according to David Whelan, who said on Thursday that the government, this time, told them beforehand that Paul would be left behind as Griner returned home. So they just keep putting homeboy on the back burner. That's sad. His brother David said the early warning meant that our family has been able to mentally prepare for what is now a public disappointment for us and a catastrophe for Paul. Yeah, it is. And it's... They just keep giving y'all L's. The government don't care about you. The government do not care about you, which is crazy. Paul is a retired Marine. Once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. He gave his life for America. Britney crapped on America so much before going over there and getting detained. And they pulled her before him. That's wild. That's wild. I'm sorry. That's wild. Although he did not know whether his brother had already been made aware of the deal between the U.S. and Russia that led to Griner's release, David Whelan suggested that he will surely learn from Russian media or their parents, who he said have spoken to Paul daily since December 2nd. At this point, Paul probably be up in there just like, it's cool. It's cool. They're not going to come get me. I'm used to it. Don't even be sad. It's cool. He probably didn't get his hopes up, period, when everybody kept saying, we got to get her, and they was trying to add him to the deal. He probably was like, they not letting me go. <laughs> he probably already mentally in his mind of fortified he not leaving, which is still sad. It's just, it is so important to me that it is clear that we do not begrudge Miss Griner her freedom. However, he also called on the U.S. to be more assertive in its efforts to secure his brother's release and proposed that authorities implement a swifter, more direct response to imprisoned Americans. In Russia's case, this may mean taking more law-breaking, Kremlin-connected Russians into custody. Although President Biden insisted in public remarks on Thursday that we've not forgotten about Paul, that's a lie, David said he worries about how his brother will react to the news of Griner's freedom, but not his own. How do you continue to survive day after day when you know that your government has failed twice to free you from a foreign prison? I can't imagine he retains any hope that a government will negotiate his freedom at this point. It's clear that the U.S. government has no concessions that the Russian government will take for Paul Whelan. And so Paul will remain a prisoner until that changes. Look, if I'm the Biden administration, I guess it would be the Sang administration at that point. If they not giving me Paul... 
and Brittany for the arms dealer? I would have never made the trade. I'm sorry. I know a lot of y'all probably like, what, she's just supposed to stay over there because they couldn't work it out? This is a Marine. The Marine comes first, okay? Yes, they both broke the law however Russia saw fit. I know a lot of people mad talking about it's just weed. Weed should be legalized. You have men here in America before they started trying to legalize weed over here that don't went to prison here for years, multiple years, for the same amount that Britney had up in Russia. So how you gonna be mad at Russia when that was already happening on our soil? I can't believe they detained her for weed. So you know how many men that got detained for that and now that it's legal? They can't even profit off of it and have their own weed businesses? Do y'all know that? Miss me with it. This was a horrible trade. This was a horrible trade. We just gave one of the most dangerous dudes to Russia while Russia is in the midst of a war with another country. That we keep just giving money to. Oh, we ain't got money to help people here in America, but we got billions and billions of dollars to keep giving to Ukraine. The gut man, look, it's a joke. It's all a joke. Um... I mean, I know her family happy, kudos to the family, but in, in the grand scheme of things, this was horrible. This was a horrible trade, should have never happened, and yeah, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never start to drop a video, and until next time, you already know who it is. It's Sang.